All right, here she is. Uh, this is the DJI uh, HD FPV transmitter. Um, we're gonna talk about, you know, basically my experience over the last couple weeks using this. Uh, I've made comments that I'm gonna be committed to trying to get to use this. Uh, they, you know, we're gonna compare it a little bit to the Tyrannus X9D. Uh, I'll make some comments, but again, this isn't supposed to be a spec for spec uh, against the Tyrannus because they are different. Um, and they're different in design and purpose, other than flying quads. Um, but uh, we'll also talk about kind of what's inside and a hack that I came up with uh, for making these gimbals uh, feel a little bit better, or at least uh, this gimbal for the throttle and yaw uh, feel a little bit better. So uh, let's first just uh, take a look at the outside. Um, very, very simple design. This is not like my Tyrannus X9D. Um, it is obviously much more complex. Um, there are things I love about this. There are things I do not like about this. Um, but uh, make no bones about it, this is not a comparison. Uh, these are two different transmitters um, in their design and function. Uh, there are some wonderful things I like about the Tyrannus. I mean, uh, I have throttle percentage on here. I've got, you know, you can customize it endlessly. There's an SD card. Uh, you can add sound packs, uh, and at some point, you know, I had, you know, every switch I had doing something. Um, I had it announcing disarm and arm, and I had this sexy woman's voice telling me and announcing, you know, it was time to go fly when I turned it on. But, you know, I turned all that stuff off eventually, uh, as I think a lot of people do as they get more into the hobby, because it gets really annoying. Um, I love when I see new people go, ah, I just customized my train. I'm like, oh, you're going to turn that off in a couple weeks. Um, so anyway, again, I love my Tyrannus, and I'm not saying that this is uh, this is a Tyrannus. Uh, this is just different, and I think as I get older, you know, it's not so much about customization. It's you know, again, it's a difference between Windows and Apple. A lot of people make that comparison. Um, you know, Apple just works, and I don't have to mess with it a lot. Uh, Windows, I really like, to, or, or even Android, or uh, you know, any of the others. It's just uh, you could tweak endlessly uh, which is great for some people for me I just want to fly and I want some good uh, I want some good gimbals so this uh, if you haven't held it please go out and find one and hold it it is not toy grade this is built very very well the design of it is actually exceptional if you are an engineer uh, once you crack this open you'll kind of see that it's a very simplistic design very good management of the space inside um, and you know, all in all, it, it's it's actually nice. It's feeling better in my hands. It's narrower, and I have smaller hands, so my throw is a little easier here. Um, so you know, I, again, I'm getting used to it. Hopefully, my flying is going to start showing it. Uh, I'm not as twitchy, and uh, now that I've actually done the uh, gimbal hack, it actually works much much better. So uh, here we go. I'm going to actually teach you how to crack it open. So very simple. I did put a stand on it. Standard stand fits this one. Um, this, uh, you know, I got it. I think at Rotor Riot um, or Get FPV. Um, so just a standard stand works pretty well. Um, but what I'm going to explain is that there are two rubber pads on each side. These are nice. I had to put, um, you know, basically uh, padding on the side, or actually, I forgot what it's called. It's the sticky stuff that goes on the side of my Tyrannus to help my hands uh, not slide around. Uh, but inside of here, there are two uh, screws, one here, one here, right underneath these plugs. You just peel these back, they go back in nicely. There's also ones on this side, this side, and this side. Underneath these feet, these little pads, you just peel those off. Um, I'll show you one. Uh, it's just a little tiny pad. There's a screw here, screw here, and then at the top, there is a screw here and a screw here. There is nothing on the battery compartment um, that allows you, that you need to actually touch to take this off. Um, so once you have that done, flip it over. I've actually already taken out the screws in the interest of time, uh, but there is only one cable. Unlike the Tyrannus when I had to take it apart to do some adjustments for my gimbals, um, you know, I got switches falling off everywhere drove me nuts and sometimes I put the switches backwards wasn't sure which way they went uh, here when you peel it up you have a lot of lead time or, or a lot of lead on this one cable this cable is just for the battery it actually plugs in right here um, and that is it here she be let me zoom in just a little bit here all right 
So, uh, at first glance, uh, you can see the big fan. This is an entire aluminum heat sink underneath here. There's a vent to the bottom to a mesh grid underneath. Um, this fan actually is for cooling the unit itself. And um, it's a really nice design. Uh, inside here are the gimbals. We'll talk about these in a second. And then all of the plugs, the connectors for all of the switches. Uh, very nice management of the space, the limited space that they have inside. Um, so one of the things that I saw that was really frustrating is that you know I you adjust each of these gimbals, which is great from the outside. Um, so underneath here, there are adjustments. It actually is listed. Uh, there is L1 and L2, and those adjust with the arrows. Those adjust your uh, on the right side. That's actually going to be uh, your pitch and roll. Uh, on this side, it is your throttle and, and yaw. Um, and then underneath, let me see if I can get underneath. There is the setting for mode one and mode two. If you're mode one, uh, there'll be nothing in here. The screws won't be uh, shown, which I'll show you in a second. Uh, M2 is down here. So one is for ratcheting, one is for the stiffness of the gimbal on the throttle side. So I tightened one of these down all the way, and I think Drew actually mentions it in one of his videos that he wished he could have got his stiffer as well. Um, man, there's gonna be a lot of jokes there. I'm so sorry. Um, but he was hoping that he could get his gimbal, uh, you know, to, to have a little more friction to it. Uh, and then I took all the ratcheting out. So tightened all the way down, still didn't have enough friction. I'm not sure if you've ever seen how these work, uh, but basically um, as you rock this back and forth, the plastic thing rubs against the metal bracket. So what I did was I actually took this screw, this screw, and this screw, popped off the metal bracket, bent it just a little bit, um, and then put it back on and I got a lot more tension. Now this isn't tightened all the way down. There's still a little more that I could even give it, uh, but this is giving me the right amount of tension. Hopefully these, this matches my Tyrannus now, which I couldn't get to when the screw was all the way tightened. So I had to crack it open and if it worked just like the one as the Tyrannus, which it does, um, I was able to actually achieve that same feeling. Uh, hopefully that does, you know, as I start to get older, the twitchiness, yes, it's a, it's rates too, but, uh, and pilot error. Uh, but that feeling of having a little more stiffness gives me a little more control. Um, because my fine motor skills are going as I age. Uh, so, uh, no age jokes, please. All right, so these are the gimbals. I'm not sure what they are. Some people have said that they're Spectrum. Some people have said they're, um, you know, contracted specifically by DJI. I'm not sure. The build quality is pretty nice. You know, not seeing any weaknesses here. Um, again, they're not the M9 Hall effects. Um, but, you know, from a feel standpoint, these are pretty darn good. Um, so that is it for the inside. Uh, let's wrap this up. I'll put this on the other side and we'll actually tackle a couple more items. I'll talk about the likes and the dislikes. Hopefully that hack will help some of you guys because it was feeling a lot sloppier. Now it's got a nice, smooth, stiffer feel and I really like that. Um, all right, let's pop the stand down, pop the battery pack, battery case down. Let me zoom back out here. All right, um, so to replace these antennas, pretty darn easy. These are actually friction fit. Um, all you have to do is grab a hold of this and you pull up on this and it slides right off. Um, inside, you can actually replace these. There's just one wire uh, mounted the, to antenna bracket uh, held down with some foam tape. It's uh, nothing mysterious, but these things feel much better. I mean, in comparison to you know what was this, this absolute abomination of life, uh, this thing, I had to actually print, um, I actually had to print some PLA, actually this is ABS I think, um, that I printed to actually hold this antenna because this was flopping around everywhere. And I understand they redid the design sometime after, but um, man, that thing was just janky as all get out. Um, these are not janky. They're, they're really nice. They, they, you know, they're a little long, um, but you know, I'm not worried about them and I like that. Um, some of the things I do like, uh, the scroll buttons are great, but I am one that puts my fingers up here when I fly. Uh, I tend to hit these scroll buttons, which activates the menus. Yes, I can shut it off in the menu. I have not done that yet because I've been doing other stuff, but I will adjust those. Um, the record buttons here, which is great in case you forget uh, to set your record on the goggles. This will set the goggles and the air unit. 
Um, I did put a little piece of heat shrink here because it just feels a little bit better um, just on my arm button. Uh, this is back for navigating the menu as well as the scroll buttons for navigating the menu. Um, you know, I do wish that uh, there was another adapter here like the arm I have on the Tyrannus, uh, like this. Um, for my lanyard because the center of gravity, I, I actually want this not to lean as far forward as it does um, so I could adjust the center of gravity a little bit. Um, buttons are well made. Uh, power button, tap twice, this powers it on. Uh, you have the indicator for the battery and then this C button is great. I really like this because the C button um, will put it into lock mode so you cannot arm. Now I haven't shredded my fingers yet but there is gonna be a day, I'm sure, that I'm gonna have an accident. Uh, this actually locks the quad and you cannot arm it even if you flick this switch. So kind of like that. Uh, there is a USB-C underneath here as well as a 3.5 millimeter um, plug. This is actually for the USB dongle. Uh, there is a USB dongle that the 3.5 millimeter will plug into and this will allow you to use SIMs. So it is not using a USB for the SIM. This is only for the firmware updates. This is actually for the simulators. So, and you can get that simulator. I'll put a link to it down in the description. Uh, so if you need the plug, um, it will be available for you or the dongle. Um, guys, this, um, yeah, again, I, I made the comments about the Tyrannus. It's not uh, to be compared spec for spec. Uh, it is minimalist. Uh, I really like it. Uh, it's getting a great feel, and I'm starting to really enjoy, um, you know, just using this. It just doesn't feel janky. Um, it feels very, very solid, well designed. Um, I know DJI haters are going to hate DJI. That's fine. Um, but you know, for those that are, are making the investment. This works. Now, will I go back to my Tyrannus at some point with Crossfire? Uh, you still using the DJI unit? Maybe. Uh, as of now, I'm gonna continue to push through and continue to use this transmitter because it is just about change. It's not necessarily just about um, uh, you know whether it's a better product or not. I'm just used to the Tyrannus, and I'll get used to this, and I bet I'll fly just as bad as I used to fly. Um, you know, it's not the transmitter, it's the pilot. So anyway, guys, uh, hopefully you enjoyed that. Hopefully that actually gave you uh, some insight, gave you a little hack. Uh, hopefully it helped. Guys, if you really enjoy this um, and you enjoy what I do, please you know, like, hit the like button. Comment down below if you have any questions or just want to comment. And uh, hit the subscribe button. You know, Your feedback helps me do what I do, and I really enjoy doing it. Um, I'm not doing this for money. I'm doing it because I took a lot from the community, and it's time for me to give some back. Um, if it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't have never gotten the air. So uh, please, you know, let me know you're out there um, and uh, nothing but smiles, guys.